Bob, it's great to be back at Beaver State. Dave, get off the grass. Oh, sorry. And it's great to it's great. You just always it's always something with you, man. It's, it's the tractor guy. To. It's the lead blower. It. it clearly says stay off the. You know what? We're we're at media day. Yeah. Your impressions. Uh, I'll just I'll just leave it up to you as far. What do you think the headlines of this media day were? Well, you got a. I believe you have a column brewing about the uh, state of the offensive line, mm -hmm. as always. Um, but I just I well, I told you before uh, we taped this that. Uh, James's commitment to not letting ego get in the way early in the season and developing young guys so that in case something comes up, Dave, like say last year at Iowa. Oh, where you need a backup to Yeah, perform? where you need, a, you need to know whether your backup quarterback can play or not. Maybe when you were pulverizing, uh, was, it, was it Ball State last year, 45? Maybe give him a little run in that game when you're up 28 nothing against Indiana. You could find out if he could play. So tell the that, people, that, tell the people what what James Franklin said he because said, he acknowledged he did, and that's why I'm so anxious to see the Ohio game, Ohio game this year. He week acknowledged two. that's been a weak spot. He said they went to their, they go to a, a, a city in Har in uh, Pennsylvania every summer for a retreat, and he talks to the assistant coaches, and he said, hey, I made a point to say let's let's not let our ego get in the way. Let's not worry about shutouts late in the game, playing like our regular guys. But also, to me, it was all about, hey, look, they never identified who their second best quarterback was. And it, it actually was their third string quarterback. It was VAU, but they never played. And they didn't, they didn't know They didn't Iowa. know. Yeah. It killed them in Iowa. It actually hurt them, I think, in the Illinois, Illinois game because yeah. they, they couldn't make yeah. the change quick enough. So I want to – the quarterback position, Dave, is a different position, and he's always played one guy. I, I hope he's going to stay true to his words. And when they're playing Ohio – let let some of these other guys play because they got to find out like what happens to Sean Gates. But this is a long running issue it is, with him. But he's he never is, said this. He is he has always kept guys in the games too long. Yeah, and and I've I've, I've carved about it on Twitter in dozens of a dozen games yeah. over the course of eight years. Yeah. So you think he's actually turned a corner? Uh, well, now that he said it, it doesn't really matter <laughs> because if he hasn't turned a corner. I mean, it's, it's just out there. All you want to do is turn there. the screws on him. I mean, even when they weren't winning, Dave, he let Christian Hackenberg stay in the Temple game for like 48 sacks yeah. in a 27-10 game. There was no mercy rule. Yeah, it was 47. <laughs> it was 48. <laughs> I, I just think the quarterbacks are they are going to talk about him all year, and I, I really hope that James will, when when they're up big in, in week two, put the, put the young guys. And your point is well taken in, yeah. in the, that it's not it's everything that – they they had they didn't have their second string quarterback in in the game, but they didn't know who the right second Correct. stringer was at all. Correct, and it cost because them, they hadn't found out. Cost them two games, yeah. at least two. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that was my takeaway. I thought that was a pretty fascinating response, and we're, we're going to follow along with that. And I thought you asked him a good question about the offensive. Line. That's the, the second or third question. I want to make sure to get this in because I've been talking to fans about this for weeks, hell, months. Really, the the entire offensive line, um, or the entire off season. It occurred to me that in eight years, every single one of the position groups at Penn State has, has been at one point or another, and we're not talking about individuals, we're talking about entire groups, right. has been at one point or another, not just good, but outstanding. And you can tick through them. Yep. Quarterback, running backs, wide receivers, uh, defensive ends, different kinds yeah. of defensive line. Tackles, rush Two ends. elite tight ends, Friar Muse and Basicki. Yeah, Linebacker would time. be the only kind of question mark, but I think when Pars <laughs> when Pars is on the Mike team, covered that, 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 that yeah. counts as an entire unit. And certainly the DBs yeah. right now. Right. I mean, absolutely. every unit except for the offensive line has been at a, at a top shelf level. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Is it, is it recruiting, development, scheme, what? Yeah. And he went on for what you think a good three minutes on that. He did, but uh, and I'm not trying to. But you got an even more interesting answer from Phil Troutwine. I thought if you want to share that with. Uh, nah, no, 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 no reveal. Keep that. No, okay. no, yeah, keep that. All right, yeah. I thought, I thought. Yeah, it was you, a very short answer, but be, it was an interesting. I'm sure answer, yeah. it's going to be. I, I can only imagine what you're going to write, but I think <laughs> the fans are going to like to read it. So I focused on quarterback development, and what James said, offensive line is also huge. Dave, your skill on the grass. Nice. Move it in. Uh, anything else for you? Um, it's really warm here. It's steamy. Can you imagine playing in this? Can you imagine living in the city of Harrisburg where there's no 
shade, no wind, no tree. It's like 107 in ha on Riley Street in Harrisburg. That's where I live. But yeah. I'm not going to give you the exact address. This is nothing. I, I'm on the trees, man. Yeah, yeah. I it's know. always 10 yeah. degrees cooler. I don't feel bad for you. And down again. You should feel bad for me, Dave. It's really hot. Anyway. Jimmy knows. Will, He's a McDevitt grad. We, he knows will, about it. we will see you before uh, Ohio. I would hope we would. I would hope we would talk maybe on a couple podcasts and also after the Purdue game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about uh, uh, being here. Oh yeah. yeah. Ohio. Yeah. yeah. After the after the young quarterbacks all play in the second half, we'll have a lot to say. And we'll certainly see you on the blue white breakdown. Until then, adios.